sound like some opera type shit. Now, let's get it, get it out. Damn, somebody to piss dude off. Hit these cowards hacking like women, they too soft. Young CEO in tennis shoes, take the suit off. Mike Tyson flow, might get your ears chewed off. Got that OJ flow, on stage, boot off. That shit's embarrassing, red face, boot off. Draw these cowards a map. Y'all in the booth lost so and still talking about raising it. Me, I tear the roof. Oh, to me, niggas, it's flunkies, poop huts, burners, and the roof. You know, you the world, 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 like, man, they, you know, niggas like how they used to get, you know, how niggas used to be, like, made of steel. We have a growing number of black men dating black, uh, white women now. Most black women feel that it's because, and I hate to hear them say this, because <laughs> half of them don't even understand what it means, but they say it's because black men can't handle a strong black woman. Why do you think black men are starting to run off with white women more often? I think, uh, me, me personally, I think a lot of black men ain't man enough for, you know what I'm saying, a, a, a strong black woman. Um, you know, it's a stereotype, but white women, you know, seem to be weaker, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, hell, if you want some bullshit, goddamn it, you know what I'm saying, you're going to need somebody weak and stupid enough to put up with that shit, and a lot of these black women ain't gonna put up with that shit, you know what I'm saying? And that's, that's, that's pretty much it. They don't like to, they don't like the dominance of a black woman. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> they don't I knew like, that was coming. <laughs> they don't like that the, the black woman sometimes, like, how can I put it? A white woman a let, a, a let a black man, just is my opinion, a white woman lets a black man, you know what I'm saying, run over them, control them, and they can get the, a black man can get the control that they want from a white woman. A, a black woman is not going to let them take control over some situation, of the whole situation. Now, you got some black women that's our, black women are idiots, you know what I'm saying, and they thrive for a black man to control everything they do. But, I just totally think that they don't like the dominance. And sometimes black women can wear too much of the pants. It's easier, you know, it's, it's less complicated. You know, it's, I'm gonna say you can get away with a lot more with a white female than you can a black female. You can tell a lot more stories to a white female than you can a black female. You know, a white female is gonna fall for a damn near majority of what you tell them. And when you tell them, you know, they're convinced automatically. Black female will not have it. She's going to question you repeatedly. You know, she's going to find out the answers. And she's going to get them answers no matter what. You know what I'm saying? So it's a, it's a big difference. And, yeah, by any means necessary. So <laughs> it's, it's a lot easier for the white females. No disrespect to the white females. How do you feel about it? Well, you know, I already know that easy, man. It's just, man, black females, they... They think they need. They think they need to put pressure on, on black men. You know, but it, it ain't really like that. It's just you're supposed to, you know, just play your part. You know, <laughs> Sometimes I'm, like I'm, that. I'm glad that you went there. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, a man perspective like how he come. You know, women should read that and know that. You know, if they with that person, and that's how a white woman they can tell that real quick. You know, yeah. they all back tell that he's classy or he's ghetto or you know they, you know what I'm saying? But. Like my fam said, they more easy. I'm gonna tell you just like that. Um, I can say a lot of black men don't like the put downs that they get from the black women. 
and then it's competitive with the job market. A woman can sometimes get a better job than a man can get. I mean, it's the financial situation, whereas she's bringing in more money than he is. And she throws it at him more than maybe a white woman would. She just want a man. Black woman for me, and I go both ways, black woman, white woman. Difference is black woman for me, yeah. The black woman have a lot more pain and control issues. They want to control everything. Now a woman, period. Woman is woman. They gonna want to have some control. White woman, you pretty much got the round player without too much of problems. If they understand, you might make a mistake. You might slip up and go fuck around with another female. They ain't ready to kill you. At least the ones I ain't I didn't dealt with. They ain't ready to kill you, you know. They, they'll forgive you. A black woman, she ready to kill you. She ready to shoot you down. Sometimes if you down on your luck, black women that I dealt with, most of them, they want to throw that shit in your face every day, you know. If they if they working, cool, they working right now. You ain't, you out of work. They want to come in talking shit, you know. Oh, why you didn't clean up or all this? You know, I'm not, the, I'm not, the, I'm not the woman. You know, still respect me as a man. I understand the the, the, the aspect too. Now, nigga, supposed to handle his business, but if you just happen to be down for a minute, as long as you ain't gonna stay down, and she see you trying, I think you know, black women ride you too much. In other words, about it, you know, as well as a white woman won't. But that that all goes back into what I was saying about they still understand their ropes. You know, as the woman, it's your job to make sure that that man is nice and at ease when he's at home. This is where I, I come to, to lay my head. This is where I come to rest. I should be comfortable in my house. And they make sure that you're comfortable. <laughs> right. right. Uh, could care less. <laughs> they see you with your feet kicked up. They love to come pull the table, make your feet fall back. What do you think? So play games with your wife like strip poker. Like a cigarette, I'll smoke you. This smile like the joker might be you. It'll pass with your trifle in that. But let me belong at first and play your shit belongs at third class. If I know you, I'll still whoop you like I never knew you. Have you wicked up screaming? Thinking about the way you had to do it. Ooh, yeah. I can't help it. Sometimes my need for blood makes me get a little selfish. Like a bomb in the alley. I'm gonna leave your ass out. Bring your girl to my concert, nigga. Watch your pass out. I'm gonna explode. Niggas is flunkies, poop huts, burners on both sides of your temple. Crew cut, fuck around to get your crew touch. Think you crew tough, but fucking my mood up. Your food, nigga, chewed up. If you wanna fight, get your dukes up. Before you wage war, get your troops up. Mobster mentality, that's how I grew up. I draw the death device on your tank or raise your coop up. Man, I understand that he did, he really did something. He's doing a lot. It's just that, you know, from my perspective, what I see out here, it's a lot of motherfucking niggas that ain't gonna get up off their ass to go get it. You know what I'm saying? That's the whole point that a lot of people don't know. Like, they don't pick papers up and read and books and read and don't know. They, if they don't read, they don't know how to do nothing. And that's what basically they ain't comprehending and understanding. That's what Obama doing for us in this world because if you ain't gonna think smarter or think big, you gonna always be a potato couch man, sitting on the couch, doing nothing, complaining about this and that. You getting free this, getting free that. It's just you just getting up and you playing your part again. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta do that. You know, be a man and get up. There's a lot of young men that know that just they done gave up hope in the world. They want to feel yeah. like they pop. They about to go out and be a thug and die yeah. and <laughs> stick stick people up and everything. Is is that they just they just lazy. That's the whole point, they being lazy. That's the whole point. <laughs> Ain't no excuse, they lazy. I tell you that, but Obama, he's doing his thing, man. I, I understand what he's doing. Is that game gonna, ain't gonna I'm just snap, I'm gonna snap your finger and it's just gonna happen a year. I think if he win this, this election one more time, he'll really show progress. You know, I'm voting for him. I feel that Obama is full of shit, but at the same time, now, I'm glad a black man is the president. I voted for him. Glad he got in there. And I also believe that, you know, Obama black. That's the key word right there, man. White folks still pulling the screens. You can believe that. They still pulling the screens. He got some power. I say he had just as much power as the other president, I think. I don't know. Even the white ones, he got just as much power. But even with them, 
got to go through Congress. You know, president can't just say, okay, this is what I want done, and it's just going to be done. You know, it's a process. It's a process to everything. Obama, I know since he got in there, I'm a Social Security recipient, okay? The first year he stepped in there, every year now we used to get a raise on Social Security. Now, this ain't the only thing that got me, because I'm personally involved in it, but that did bother me. Now he don't give up no more money. Once again, he don't give up shit. He gave a little 250 stimulus check and gave shit else. Every year, there ain't no cost of living increase. That's one thing that pissed me off with Obama. Obama also, he a brother. I'm glad he in there. I ain't going to even lie about it. I'm glad he in there. He's, he's trying, he's doing something because he's here, just for being here, period. You know, he's motivated a lot of black people just by being here. So he's giving a lot of people hope. Is it fair to say that the majority of black women are doing their fair share to help earn that title as the world's angriest women? Some of us are, yeah. <laughs> y'all went in y'all drawer, pulled out your panties and tried to put them on your man. <laughs> yeah, I killed them. You know what? <laughs> you know what the reality of, of that is? It's, 19, it's not 1960 no more. See, but that's the problem. Some of these men don't even want to go get a job. Yeah, you're right about that. You, you know right what I'm saying? That. Now, if my man want to go get a job and let me stay at home and take care of the kids and do everything, you know what I'm saying, do for the kids, that's cool, I guess, to a certain extent. But I still want to go out and do my thing. Like, I'm a hustler. You know what I'm saying? I got to get mine. And if any woman got any common sense, you know what I'm saying? She's still gonna wanna have her own. You know what I'm saying? Because nowadays these men will bounce. You know what I'm saying? But why, they, they, but why do you think they're bouncing? Nobody, nobody bounces for nothing. You know what I'm <laughs> There's saying? There's always a reason. You know what I'm saying? They bounce because they can't they can't understand a black woman. They they terrorize their own people. How different is our government? They've been terrorizing niggas since I can remember. Yeah. We ain't no different yeah. than that. Yeah. We shot in cold blood. An unarmed man. I don't know about y'all, but I couldn't celebrate that mm. because it made me think about all the niggas that they did the same thing to. Mm -hmm. Damn. You Still mean to tell me that you view us the same way that you view Vid Life? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> if you're surrounded by individuals who have relationships going, eventually you're going to say, look here. I don't want to be that fifth wheel no more. <laughs> a car with five wheels just look ugly though. <laughs> what can a woman do that could have her viewed as an individual that's trying too hard to be the man in the relationship? Um, I don't know, my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for real, pick something up out of my life. Uh, for real, because I mean, I don't know, like, I do everything to, like, to try to control the situation. Like, you know, from controlling when the bills gonna be paid, or what money gonna go on, or what you gonna do, or how you gonna breathe today. And, and, and another thing now, you sisters, y'all ain't saying all of you now, but the ones that is, y'all act like y'all scared to suck some nick, y'all better start doing it. Cause a white woman will suck you off three, four times a day, and won't even complain. Damn, I can't ask of her what I'm not willing to do myself, right? I know that the women get down. Yeah. But from the little stories I used to the hear men, work see, about the yeah, male strippers, yeah, yeah, men, they want to lay around right the forehead. Yeah, not, because a man is still a man. He getting turned on automatically for me just being out here. Like so the, the idea of somebody laying go. laying their manhood on my woman's no, forehead. No. Oh no. Nah, so he, so he I had to shut for the shit. He exactly. don't work out. You know what I'm exactly. He, he, he prepared for. He planned on this shit. Like, fuck no. So in order for me to be able to look at her and say, "Oh, it's a rap yeah, you, you gotta get that I shit. I had to shut it down too. Exactly. Hey, this the first go around, y'all. Just throwing it out there, trying to see what it do. Um, practice makes perfect. We'll see what happens next go around. If I had a chance to see what I like, what I don't like, fix that up that I don't like, and do a little bit more of that in which I did like. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you for round two.